will you talk? What is your real name? I told you, my name is Perry Liston. Liar! You a spy! No, I work for the New York Tribune. Incredible how this man can take so much. Plastic surgery. Kien is sure they will pass for Americans. He still looks yellow. He had jaundice. Hmm. Say something American. Hiya, baby. Let's shake a leg and give her the works. Perfect. Send them off to America. <sighs> oh, shut up. <sighs> Don't do that. Oh, what's it to you? He's an old man. Leave him alone. Who are you spying for? No one. I'm a journalist. <laughs> True. Mm. you a spy? Of course. What do you think I'm doing here? Always been a spy? Always. I used to snitch on the kids at school. So I decided to make a career out of it. Uh, it's all right. What is it? Thank you. Thank you. You are a good man. I can see this ring. Take it. No, no. It's from another time. An ancient wisdom. It will help you. And through it, you must help others. It will help you. And you must help others. Remember. I'll try to. With that ring on your finger, you can be... Uh, and yet, not be. Why do they always put the nuts in with me? Shut up. Once the ring is in your position, a slight pressure against your finger, a drop of liquid will enter <laughs> your blood. To be a change. A great change. And you will become invisible. But a liquid will last no longer than 20 minutes. And you must not use it again for 10 hours. Remember, 10 hours. Everyone will want a ring. But it is for you alone. <laughs> Didn't you know he used to be a ventriloquist? <laughs> Pretty least 
Lindström, on Zeit! I'll see you soon. Hey, don't look so worried. It's easy. You'll disappear. An execution a day is too much. Your health is in danger. And 
answer that door and you're dead. It isn't loaded. prisoner has escaped. How awful. We get him. We think he may be in the house. There's no one here. What's the matter with him? Don't they recognize me? I don't understand. Quiet! Sorry to disturb you. Now do you trust me? Fortune smiles on you. I'm leaving here this afternoon. I've got a plane waiting. I'll take you with me. Until then, we have time to relax. Tell me how you disappear. Mm -hmm. In China, you start here, don't you? Huh? And then the long march. about the general. I've had enough. He beats me. You'll soon be coming up to the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, your skin is so soft. So soft. beautiful girl, but uh, I'd be much happier when we're on that plan. Don't worry about that now. Trust me. How do we get on that plan? You can become invisible. Uh, no. I told you. I can't do it again for a while. <laughs> that sounds familiar. I'll get you out. I want you around, see? What is your name? <laughs> He's Ling Shang Fu. He's had plastic surgery. He's spying on the West. What say, buddy? How's your bird? It doesn't look Chinese. <laughs> Long live China. All the way with the USA, you think. Let's go. Huh. Who is that going on the plane with Holan? Lieutenant Ling Chong Fu. You idiot! I'm Ling Chong Fu! Automatic pilot. Look, uh, we're going to be a bit uh, cramped in here, aren't we? You could become invisible. Oh, no, Lan, you wouldn't know me from the automatic pilot. Now, no more about that. Mm -hmm. What 
to life. <laughs> this morning I was facing a firing squad and here I am heading out of China with a beautiful girl. <laughs> no more foreign correspondent for me. Nope, just birth, death, marriage. That's it. <laughs> That's just a cover. Who else do you work for? Who else? Oh, my head. Oh, damn it. That Chinese salesman oh. told us that machine would never oh. fail. Perhaps he's telling the truth, General. I'll do the perhapsing around here, Colonel. Uh. Take him into my office. And somebody get me an aspirin. That damn machine has given me a headache. Did I hear somebody say aspirin? Our men are ready to depart, sir. Good. Line them up. I'd like to say a last word to them. The lip. Ha! Squadron. Ha! Lip. Hey! Well, they can pass for Chinese better than the last lot. <clears throat> Soldier, you still look white to me. It's because I'm afraid, General. What do you have to be scared of? They give you a parachute before you jump. Thank you, sir. All right. Send her to China. Captain Perry Liston, U.S. Air Force Reserve, number 14684188. Fought in the Korean War. Civil occupation, foreign correspondent. Writes a column under the name of Matchless. Photograph from Washington, Colonel. Oh. Seems like he was telling the truth, General. It's very confusing when they do that. Huh? Oh. Mr. Liston? <laughs> well, it seems you made a slight error. <laughs> Good. May I go home now? It says here that you were an officer in the Korean War, that they called you matchless, and that you write a column under that name, and that you entered Red China against the orders of your paper. That's right. Matchless, Far East expert. He was decorated for bravery. Yeah, I ate in the GMS once. <laughs> a sense of humor. I like that. So do I. Well, son, how do you work it? This invisibility stunt. That's my business. Well, uh, could you work it again? Mm. Sure, I could. He's our man. Take him to the projection room. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. You work here? Yes, I work here. I see. Everybody's a spy. One half of the world is out chasing the other half. They always have been handsome. Go 
told me sometime. I'm in the code book. Hey, where are we? New York. Ooh. I'll call you. Extraordinary man. A man who holds the key to a monstrous secret. There. Uh, well, you'll be seeing him in a close-up soon. Now watch, boy. He'll be on any second. Here now. Uh, <clears throat> I want to show you one of the richest, most powerful men who ever put a price on our security. Watch carefully, my boy. It took months for our cameraman to gather this material. There! As I was saying, it took months to shoot this material. This man is very elusive. This man is asking so much for a secret that the only thing we have left to do is steal it from him. This film was taken with great risk by one of our Italian agents, Melini. <laughs> As you can see, this man has highly developed tastes. He was educated in England, speaks 13 languages and 16 oriental dialects. He has money in banks all over the world. When is that Malini going to give us a close-up? Oh, this is torture. I've eaten for days. Here you are. Thank you. Hey, there, there he is. Quiet. Isn't that Gregory Andriano? <laughs> Smart boy. Where is that Malini? He's no longer with us, General. He got an offer from Hollywood to make movies. Oh. Dismissed. Now, Perry, you don't mind if I call you Perry. We're very informal here. I'm General Shapiro. How do you do? Well, my boy, you're in trouble. First Cuba, then Red China. Your paper's had enough. You've been fired. Let me see that. But after this mission, you'll be the greatest journalist in the world. Who knows? Maybe the Pulitzer Prize. Really? Now, Andriano has a liquid in a vial this big. Yes. He has more than a hundred of them. Yes. What's in them? I can't tell you. You can't? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. It's that big, huh? It's that big. that big. Now do you see why you can't refuse this? Yeah. Why we need you? Yes, I do. It's for your country and to save humanity. I understand. I'll do the best I can, sir. That's the boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is your contact in Europe. <laughs> you young men get all the breaks. All we have to do is go to Washington to convince the committee. I'm I'm